Welcome back to another episode of Project Property. Today we're looking at Genesis models, VR, AR and XR studios, a few collaborations and much more. Right, so for those of you that don't know, as part of the Villator Genesis collection, uh, each of these little models we're 3D printing, and we've got to make each of them <laughs> exactly how they are right here. So we 3D printed all of the models, and now we have to make this little base plate. So we're going to be testing with a few different metals to see which is going to be the best finish, because I don't know how accurate this is going to be, because it's going to be done at a really small scale, roughly around 10 to 15 millimeters wide, so not very big. I know laser colors are laser accurate, you know, it's in the neck. Don't know how the wording is going to turn out, so uh, we're going to jump to the workshop and start testing with a bunch of metals. So here we are looking at some anodized aluminium with some different grades of the etching from the laser cutter. Now this is been etched in and then painted over with a permanent marker to give it this dark feel and we feel it looks really good and was adequate enough for our little Genesis plates. So here we are testing it on as a natural size um, to scale. And as you can see here the size and the detail of the writing is really good quality. But me being me I didn't really like the dull background of the anodized aluminium so I sanded that layer down and we spray painted over using a new process called Thermark where the laser engraving actually burns the Thermark spray onto the metal but as you can see here it just rubs straight off so I then started looking for a new material and we found some stainless steel laying around and they were willing to give this for me for free so we cut a little strip off and we crept it and got it ready to put onto the laser cutter we then applied the Thermark spray and as you can see here the actual end product looks fantastic so what we have to do after is we do need to wipe off the Thermark spray and unfortunately the Thermark didn't actually burn correctly onto the metal itself because it's such a shiny surface so it ended up all just rubbing off. And at that point, I thought it was all over because those were the only two metals that were actually going to be useful or good enough to use on those models. We went back to the anodized aluminium, put Thermark on top of that without sanding it, and these came out perfect. Yo, <laughs> dude, this is like the comfiest, softest shirt I've ever felt. It's like soft. Bring it in. Jeez, look at this. This thing, this is my new favorite hoodie for sure. Holy moly. What do you think of the Villator NFT merchandise? I think personally, it looks fantastic. Um, and I'm not just saying that. I really genuinely love this. Uh, this is honestly something that I've been dreaming of for ages. And it's something that I freaking love like hoodies are my favorite things to wear i love wearing them out uh, i always wear a hoodie to the gym uh, and i made sure i bought this top as well so as some sort of a at least some sort of a muscle fit so i can wear it out and actually look decent so um yeah no very happy with these they're so soft so comfy um i'm impressed with the service um i'm pretty sure i've been charged an awful lot to make this so i don't think i actually make any money on these print on demand stuff but Regardless, I, it doesn't matter. I, I'm super happy with what I've got here and hopefully you guys are as well There'll be a link down below. Make sure you guys come and check it out a whole range of stuff it goes, Redbubble is actually really good for all the different products they have They've got you know anywhere from dad hats to tank tops to duffel bags, you know, they've got all, everything So check it out. There's even a really cool white mouse mat I wouldn't recommend getting a white mouse mat just because they get super dirty, but it looks fantastic So if you want like decorative pieces, it does look fantastic
Today is the day the University of Portsmouth unveiled their VR CCI XR studios with all of these different amazing rooms, their main stage, this gaming room, this green screen tracking room. So you can do cool sorts of stuff here like the demo, there's ladies running around the room. It's amazing and it's some really fantastic technology and so much of it, I have no idea what it can do. I know what this is, this is a haptic VR sort of suit where you can feel things digitally. Uh, this room has an amazing set of cameras and tracking and all of this sort of recording software but the best part is me being a student I get access to all of this technology and because our main focus is digital real estate we have all of this amazing tech that we can utilize so there should be some big things being able to use here and once I graduate I'll be able to use this software and space for three years so I've got lots of technology here and lots of equipment so this is really exciting stuff so hopefully we can expect some great things and they also give us a free t-shirt looks kind of cool all right, it's Friday morning. We're heading off to uh, the post office or uh, Wilco's just to see if they've got any um, sort of bubble wrap because we need to wrap up our models in the boxes just so if they get knocked around that they don't chip or anything inside the box. The crate's going to keep them safe from any external forces, but on the internal side, we need to make sure they don't bounce around and break uh, as well. So we're going to get those, get head to the workshop and pack the NFTs and get them sent off to the Genesis holders. So let's head to the post office now and get this thing rolling. So the NFTs are done, the lids are created. Now all we're gonna do is package them up, put them in their boxes and send them off to their own. So we're finally at a point where we can send these off. We get a, a little special engraving on each of the lids uh, with their Discord usernames. And look at this, this is fantastic. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, wrap these up in bubble wrap, uh, put them in the boxes here. Uh, see how well they fit and then what we would do is uh, if we can we'll pack the rest of the boxes with like this foam stuff just to like fill the voids um, and then we'll nail these shut and then get them ready to ship off. to set now before we take the clamps off and then we are good to ship these things off so we're so close boxes are glued and ready to go um they shut at four and i got here about five past four and all the lights are off so <laughs> thanks. Uh, i managed to get in there while they were just leaving so uh otherwise we would have had to wait till monday and i would have been very upset so now we can get these shipped off over the weekend and fingers crossed everything is going to be good to go and these models will be at their new owners soon. Yeah. And you can look at those on the Royal Mail website. So finally, Friday the 6th of May, we have the Genesis models in the post. So we've got three models going off to um, the Philippines, the USA and New Zealand. So we've got some really interesting places and these models are going all over the world. It's, it truly is amazing like how NFTs can bring people like that together, like literally from all over the world. Like I'm from the UK, everyone who's sort of involved with this is from a different country, which is fantastic. And it's amazing, the shipping didn't cost too bad. It was around 20 pounds for a tracked parcel. Um, so it's about 60 pounds in total, looking at around 400 pounds total uh, for shipping all of the, the Genesis models. They're really light, so obviously they don't they don't weigh much and it, they don't take up much room either because they're pretty small uh, in their shipping crates, but everything seems to be good to go. As long as they don't get opened like during the security checks and stuff through like customs, I believe, uh, hopefully the packages should be fine. Uh, I mean, they are well and truly glued and nailed shut. Like, I don't know how the people are gonna open them. I probably should have thought of that a little bit better, but you're definitely gonna need a crowbar and uh, a little bit of help, probably two crowbars and a friend holding it. <laughs> But that's going to be part of the experience. And if you are a Genesis holder, make sure you record your opening and receiving of this uh, of this package and parcel. I'd love for you guys to send it here. We'll feature it here on the channel and uh, we'll get you guys' reactions of the physical models in your hands. Um, so yeah, it's awesome. Uh, I've got one more to make. Um, so we've just had a new person buying from the USA as well. Uh, so uh, we're going to have to uh, sand, paint and uh, box and ship that off. So that is another one that needs to go. Um, but for the meantime, we're going to be focusing a lot of stuff uh, around the house. Um, 
so you know we're going to start doing tours we've got some stuff going on in terms of sort of renovations uh, and all that sort of stuff so keep an eye out make sure you guys hit that bell notification click that subscribe button and comment down below uh which one was your favorite model that we shipped out there's some really good models and if you have any suggestions for what we can do with these packages uh going on down the line make sure you drop it in the comments below always down to hear some different funky ideas we can do to put in these crates I would like to say thank you so much for watching this video, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next Project Property.